do you buy a cheap Chinese four-wheel drive? Let's have a look. <laughs> Are you Chinese? Married to one. <laughs> oh, I say no more. She says, don't trust the Chinese. All right, $30,000 worth of vehicle. Minus the canopy and the add-ons. $30,000 is not a hell of a lot of money for a brand new four-wheel drive, but what are you actually getting? But right. more importantly, how long is it going to last? I would say this car would be good for 160 to 200,000 k's. And that okay, would be yeah, we are talking diesel, yeah? Diesel, yep. Okay. So this has the same engine, same engine design, which is an Italian design. Holden Rodeo called it a Duramax. It's not. It has nothing to do with Duramax. 130 odd kilowatts is what came in the Rodeo. 110 kilowatts in this. <laughs> oh dear. But 30 grand, that's a lot of car. It is. Depending, well, yeah, okay. Look, in, any, in anyone's money, that's, that's a good value. However, you're going to get absolutely nothing back for it at the end of the lease or at the end of the buy. Correct. If you have a look under the car, um, you'd think twice about taking it four-wheel driving. Oh dear. There are some interesting parts on this. Um, I read the Reddit reviews and it says, it's, imagine if Alibaba made a car, this would be it. And I think it is. <laughs> it's just got bits from everywhere slapped together. It doesn't make much sense, but again, it comes back to $30,000 for a vehicle. Would you buy one? It's a lot of car, but it's like a fat chick. Just because it's bigger doesn't make it better. <laughs> <laughs> but there's more to hold on to. There is, okay, this is not, not too bad. Okay, so you've got a Bosch ECU unit, an engine management system sitting inside here. You've got essentially the Rodeo engine in it. You can buy a tuner for it. That's the only thing I should have done to this. Or well, the first thing I should have done is put the engine tuner on it and brought it straight up at an extra 20 kilowatts, 20 odd percent power straight back into the engine, Okay. which you can do. It does actually have a Detroit locker sitting in the back end by Eaton. I found that out at the back of the Grampians when I didn't get bogged and it locked, it just went straight through. And that came as standard? That comes as standard. Wow. One of the other big issues you're going to have with this though, so brakes don't work. Engine, no power. Um, towing capacity, non-existent. Parts, you may as well have a Rolls Royce for the cop for what you're getting here. But, there is but, no dealer support here no. at all. But, I mean, it's stated towing capacity, three and a half tonne though, isn't it? Like, I towed a oh, mate's, I towed, no, I think this one's three or so. I towed a mate's boat with this and the brakes have never been the same. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Now, what would you buy with 30,000? I think I'd probably want to spend more than 30000 mm -hmm. but for 30000 I don't think I could do better. Let's look at the brand. LDV, marketed as Maxxis everywhere, except for the fact that Maxxis, the trademark is not allowed for them to use it in Australia, so hence why we've got the badge. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, additions. <coughs> Yokohama Geolanders. Sitting on there, nice little work expense. Everyone needs tyres. Upgrade the tyres. Upgraded lighting system, GME CB radio sitting on it. I said Detroit locker city, Detroit locker on the back end. The back though does sag. How much you got in the back, as in weight wise? Too much. Yeah, yeah that'll do it. That'll do it. <laughs> Too much weight in the back. As all tradies do. It's a tradie trait. Actually, look to the side. Solar power. <laughs> oh, and you got the fridge. Red art converter. DC, DC. Freezer. <laughs> fridge. Microwave. Microwave. Doesn't everyone have a microwave? <laughs> Coffee machine. Sorry, this thing went to Dargo recently, so as you can see the mud and muck and everywhere on it. There's also an air compressor sitting inside here somewhere as well. Uh, GME CB radio sitting on it as well. Yeah. So why do we put these additions on there? Because they're tax deductions. Of course, as a tradie, so, naturally. So with a vehicle like this, everyone uses them for work, but also there's a recreational element on them. As
as well. Naturally, you can go whichever way you want to go with, with that. Interpret that as you please. Um, these items though I can strip straight out and put into another vehicle. So yep. your question was originally, you know, thirty thousand dollars. Okay, we're we're asking about it. What do you do? I wouldn't put a bull bar on this vehicle. I would not go to ARB with this vehicle and spend three and a half thousand dollars on a bull bar on it. No, because after two hundred thousand k's, the cars and the, the cars and the tip, and you're left with a three and a half thousand dollar bull bar. You're trying to sell to someone and you'll get you'll get nothing for it. Yep. If you bought a Toyota or an Isuzu or some other, where you can get your million k's out of it, yeah, I would be looking at ARB stuff. Yep. A lot of the kit in here I've got. Some of it is some Kings. Adventure Kings, some of it is well, top they're, va stuff. they're value for money, basically outdoor adventure stuff that you add on. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah, they're well worth the money, usually. Yeah, well, my fridge freezer is. I bought what, the, the top of the line one from there. Um, yeah, it works, it keeps everything going. I've also got a second battery yep. set up inside there. So, if you are going to buy one of these and you're going to buy parts, make sure that you're not buying parts for the vehicle specifically, but that you can strip those parts out. So again, thirty thousand dollars is probably about three grand's worth, two and a half, three grand's worth of kit on it. All that kit gets moved across to the to other the next vehicle. vehicle. Yep. To the next vehicle, and away you're done. Would you buy one though? Ugh. Well, look, if you, it's it's the same as with the van that I bought. Yeah, there's a lot of LDV vans going out there. There's a lot of Hyundai vans going out there. But again, once you're done with them you're going to get nothing back so is it value is it really value for money yeah you're buying it cheap but at the end of its lifespan you get nothing yeah i'd probably take another another spin on this anyone who goes out there trader goes out there and buys themselves a four-wheel drive without talking to their accountant is an idiot yes these things are tax write-offs that's the only reason for the for them to exist in reality. Well, they got rid of the Ford Falcon panel van. Yep, they got rid of the Ford Falcon Utes. They're all gone. So really, every trade is left with one of these now. And you can see you can see what's happening to these vehicles now. Would I buy one? No. Everything I'd be getting would be on lease. Yeah. So if I'm going to lease it, I wouldn't get a, I wouldn't get a vehicle like this and have it written off on tax. I'd be buying a I'd be buying a Hilux and a Zuzu for my half decent trading. Yep. Oh, even a Ranger for that matter. Anyway, would I buy one? No, I want all you taxpayers out there to buy one and give it to me. That's exactly right. <laughs> I love that take. <laughs> Reliability. Not much has gone wrong with it. Not much has gone wrong with this thing. I mean, I copped that much stick for it. I've been taking it down to Dargo. Um, I'm taking it out the back of the Grampians. The thing's still going. The thing is still going. I mean, as I said, underneath it's a bit weak, but you wouldn't really bash this thing around like a Nissan Patrol. But how often are people doing that? So you take it up to a job, what do the boys think? Uh, they love the free coffee out the back of it. <laughs> 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 they love the fact that I've got a coffee machine sitting in the back and they, I say it cost me a dollar a coffee and of course they're sponges and they never have any money on them, so I end up making them coffee. So that one wasn't really well thought out on my behalf. Yeah. Ah. You should get an FPOS machine. <laughs> <laughs> You're one of those coin operators where you got to drop the coin inside the slot and get it going. Um, I'm happy with the way I've done it, that everything I can strip off this and then put onto the new vehicle. Would I buy one? Would I buy any car? No. Would I lease it and take tax advantages of it? Yes. What's exactly. the maintenance like on the Chinese vehicle? About 350 or so per service. That's not bad. No, that that's not bad. bad. But then again, when it comes to dealer support, when it comes to parts, it's just not there in this country. It's just not there. For example, the Nissan local to me has the franchise for this. Now, they didn't know if it was a locking diff or not. <laughs> and they're the franchise. And they're the mechanics. Hmm. So they don't know how the diff works. It sounds very, sim very similar to the um, uh, Chrysler Jeep franchises. They are just absolutely atrocious. That hasn't exploded yet. Yeah. There was a famous story of one of these in Queensland where it went to um, went to the legal system. The guy had rust in the vehicle. LDV then said, "Oh no, no, you took the vehicle to the beach. That's not that's you know taking it taking it above and beyond." And it turned out the dealership was on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> and to top it off, he also paid for rust protection on the vehicle as well. <laughs> um, it is quite hollow. I mean, listen to it, it's like tinfoil on there. Yeah. Um, I suppose I say it saves weight. 
where she goes. But then again, 30 grand, what are you going to get? Question is, if you were to sell this, what would you get for it? Uh, at 100,000 Ks, this is 97,000. So say 100 Ks, what do you reckon, you, what, what would you offer for it? You, you'd be lucky to get, well, to my mind, I'm no expert. So I'd say maybe 10. How old is it? What's the year on I'd it? say 10, 15, uh, 21 or something like that, 20, 21. Um, about it for two and a half years. Um, okay, so you've wiped 15 grand off the value. Yep. Um, how would that be in comparison to an Isuzu, in comparison to a Toyota, something like that? Let's talk about your Toyota. Oh, I don't have a Toyota. I've got an Isuzu. Let's talk about your Isuzu. <laughs> in the next video. <laughs>